Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ray Love and I'm back with another mukbang edition. Been back with Melissa. Hi y'all. She done been everywhere with us, but it's been a while since she's been sitting at the table. Yes, it mm -hmm. is. I haven't been in front of the brick wall for a minute. Right. All right, y'all. Make sure you are following me on TikTok. Make sure you are following me on Instagram. That is truly important. I have a reel over there that's kind of going viral. <sighs> Um, if you didn't check out my last prank that I did on Melissa, where I had her boss call and fire her on her day off, it's kind of going viral for a little bit of things I was saying to Melissa. So check out that reel. Go over there, share that reel. That reel has been shared over 13,000 times. Um, we have over 33,000 likes on it right now, and it grows literally by the minute. So y'all go over there, share, 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 let everybody know. If you aren't subscribed, make sure you're subscribed. And if you are subscribed to the whole gang, what are you doing? So make sure you subscribe to the entire gang. And their names will be listed somewhere above me. But, um, yeah, above me. All right. So today I made beef stew. Homemade yes. beef stew. All made by me. Stewed for a long time. Very good. So good. Some collard greens. And we both have a little white rice. Yep. All right. And corn. And some corn. So I'm a, a, in the beef stew, we got potatoes, we got carrots, mm -hmm. we got peas, and onions, of course, garlic, and a little bit of celery. Okay. I didn't know there were peas in there. I'm a good way to sneak them in. You didn't know. You was eating it. Because she, she tried it a little bit. So I didn't you know. didn't know, right? Right. Nope. There you go. All right. Let's say our prayers so we can get in. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this food placed before me. In Jesus' name always, amen. Amen. All right, y'all. So as you can tell by the title today, I am going to be putting in clips oh. that are hilarious. So we're going to be talking about our time um, when Mo and Mimi came to visit us. In, and the kids. And the kids in uh, Brooklyn. Yes. And Brooklyn the kittens. Hill. And wouldn't leave because they extended their trip like three mm -hmm. times. I think she was here for 14 days, which is a long time mm -hmm. to leave someplace. Mm -hmm. Now I've done a, like three weeks at their house. I think I did mm -hmm. a month at one point, mm -hmm. but... Being here, being in New York, that was the best. And I know you guys seen our videos together. If you haven't, make sure you check oh, them yeah. out. But and she has one coming out on her channel too. Um, but I don't know when it's coming out. She'll, she'll let y'all know. It should be out soon. Oh, that's good. It's so good. Look at this, y'all. So good. I'm sorry. I'm not even sharing. Sorry, y'all. Here's the trick to be stew, y'all. If somebody ever gave you a trick, because most people know what to do. Sear your meat before you start stewing it. Yep. One of the first things Melissa said to me is, you know, I do eat beef stew, but sometimes I don't because it can give me that little, like, beefy, bloody taste. And yeah. I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. But I knew exactly what she was talking about. And it's why I stay away from it. This is not like that at all. If you get it at restaurants sometimes, it tastes like that. Mm -hmm. Sear your meat. Mm. Like a real good sear. Before you put any liquid and start stewing it. You see it is so good. I was like, can I have some now? Is it ready? Right. And you see how you don't taste that at all. At all. It just melts in your mouth. Mm, so good. That's it. Yes, somebody's going to say, can you put up a, a, a recipe on it? I really will. Yeah. I'm getting settled here right now. We're doing a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And so, I'm going to be painting soon. Mm -hmm. Acting like Bob the Builder. <laughs> all right. So, let's get into these clips because... When I was looking for them, at them, I could have easily made a vlog. That's true. But y'all don't like vlogs over here. Y'all like me eating. You like the food. And I listen to what my people like, okay? You like pranks, you like me eating. And the vlogs, I'll put them here and there, but I, I'm really focused my vlogs on the vlog channel. That's a good idea. And I figured on this channel, you guys deserve it first to know what we were doing and things just behind the scene. So we're going to start when it first came here. Uh-huh. It was uh, 4th of July. Mm -hmm. You were cooking your butt off. Why, why are you so excited, Mimi? Why are you so excited? What, what, what's up? What happened? <laughs> the fucking jerk. Why would you react? Why are you like, oh, I'm off the boat. Hey. hey. And it's so funny that when Vaughn came to visit, it was the 4th of July. It was. <laughs> he came and in on that was. day and so did they. <clears throat> that is true. Look we at that. We were talking outside, but that's so weird, right? It is. It's it's like connected weird, like pretty weird. So I know they're going to do a mukbang. They'll probably be talking about their own stuff. And I know they also have, I know Mimi got mad clips because I mm -hmm. saw, she was filming things we didn't even know. Mm -hmm. And I was filming things they didn't even know. 
But so I want to talk about what their experience was. You understand what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I will say when they first came here, they spent their first night at our house. Yeah. And that's when they got to meet D. Mm-hmm. We drank, we had a good time, but Mo was tired. Yeah, she was. You know, she was driving, but she still she took her nap. It, and rallied. woke up and had a party. Mm -hmm. And we basically had a party every single every night. Day. <laughs> this is so good and this is so so good all right y'all then they went to meet my family i don't have that on camera because not everybody's family want to be on camera and my family's like that um Somebody asked about why we don't see your child. And I was like, they're actually in two vlogs yeah. of mine. Yeah. But they really don't do they don't do the camera. So, you know, that's why. <laughs> Pretty much. Now, y'all gonna see Sean because like his mother, wherever the camera is, his, he's trying to find it. So <laughs> he don't mind. But that's how you get good contact. You can't force mm -hmm. that. And it's okay. Like, it's, it's my thing. It's not everybody. It's not to be everybody thing in the house. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's the answer to that question that I have gotten a couple of times. Because I have new subs. So a lot of times they watch an old video. You may have mentioned that. Like got I have it. a child. And so they're asking. Yeah, you know that makes sense. All right, y'all. So then. Oh, my God. What else did we do? So the Mina kids have a sleepover. Mm-hmm. Mina kids have a sleepover so they can get a, like, a really good nice rest. Mm-hmm. Um... At first, the Airbnb was a little far away, mm -hmm. but they were in Jersey, and they will tell you their story about that, mm -hmm. which is a really good one. That is a story time. But it still was capable of getting here. But I asked the kids so that, you know, they could sleep and stuff like that. Yeah, relax. And the kids missed their Uncle Ray, and they wanted to spend some time with her. Right. We have graduated to T.T. Ray. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Like, it's, hey, you. Come on. I got a new... You know what? Campbell. can't buy nothing in this house. Get just, down. And it's always hard. It got to be my cat. I think it doesn't. Y'all can't see it, but I'm telling you... Cookie does it sneakily. He won't do it like in your face. Yeah, so we graduated from that because at first, it started out as a joke. Mm-hmm. Um, there's Uncle Vaughn. And one day I was there and Ava said Uncle Ray. Like, it was funny. And then it became like a nickname. Mm-hmm. But we graduated from it because we like, Mo used the example. She was like, what if something happens to you, right? She goes and tells a friend, my Uncle Ray is in the hospital. First of all, why that had to be the example, I don't know. But, <laughs> <laughs> but she was like, that um, her friend would be like, what happened to him? She'd be like, oh no, that's a girl. Oh, so she's a she. we're getting her into T.T. Ray or just Ray or Auntie Ray, whatever mm -hmm. they feel comfortable with. Hello. We had the kids. Now it's been a long time since me and Melissa have kids. Like Obviously, little. And I see them often and stuff, but it's just different when your parents are in the same house. Mm -hmm. So now we're together. So I'm like, oh, you know what would be a great thing for us to do movie night? Everybody say movie night. Movie night. <laughs> and they suggested The Lion King. Um, I never saw The Lion the King. The live action. The live action. That's what it's called, live yeah, action. Yeah, I saw it on Broadway. I saw it as a cartoon but i never mm -hmm. saw that one me either it's very much the same it is i think it's only like one or two songs that's different, different. i think yeah all the other songs are there mm -hmm. it's like an addition they didn't take anything away it's just an addition to so i'm gonna show a clip of um the kids and, uh, and first of all one pay close attention to logan how beautiful his voice is yes and i always tell him that and every he time I see the him, song he sounds nice they're startled a little bit that i knew I the was, song as well okay and was singing her butt off well, I've never seen a king or beast with quite so little hair. Like no king was before. All right. That was so cute, though. So we had that. We ate popcorn. We stayed up. That movie is long. I didn't realize that. 
We stayed up, we watched it, we sang. We ate, what did I make that night? I think I made uh, hamburgers. What did I make hamburgers and french fries? And french fries. Ava surprised me. She did. She ate a butt off. Cause I really, first of all, I believe kids. They know what they like and they know what they want. And how dare I? Cause she was like, I can eat two burgers. And I was like, nah, come on. You know, she's so little. I'm like, here's a burger and some fries. Eat what's on your plate. Cause that's how I know. And she liked the fries and everything, so. And she was like, can't get enough burger. And I was like, I cut it in half. I made it and cut it in half. Like, here you go. Cause I don't know. She was like, can I get the other half? I was like, okay. She was like, my, I love burgers. They're my favorite. I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna listen to you from now on. That baby, she ate. Eat, that baby ate her butt off with them burgers. Logan eats. Oh my God, yeah. As well. He's like a grown boy, as he should. Oh my God. Now that I'm used to. Cause you know, I had a boy all my life with my baby. So I already know they eat. But anyway, while um, he was here, Sean gave um, them one of his consoles, mm -hmm. because the Xbox, mm -hmm. because it's so many games on it, and he hasn't played in a while because he's now playing that PS5. Mm -hmm. So he gave it to them, and what I'm telling you, it took them to another world. Oh my God, they were both, they were both building many mansions on Minecraft right. and Roblox. I was like, where's my room? And the cutest thing is that Ava can play on her iPad and mm -hmm. play with him while he's while on playing the on Xbox. the games. They have so many different type of games, so I know um, they was happy with that. But a lot of times, I, that that's what they wanted to do and be like, "All right, peace out." Yeah, literally. I have some clips of them. I can't put the actual song, but they was dancing today. Like, they not not like us with the cats, but I can't put the song. So it's gonna be another song that I put in there. But it was really cute. But you have a reel on your Instagram that's like a collage of it, and she right. has that same clip of Ava dancing the kid, like the dancing with the kitties. kitties with the song. So you can see it. We also had the kittens because you know kittens are not allowed in B and B's and hotels. Some of them. They were so little. Bring your butt. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come on. There you go. There you go. <laughs> They were so little. When it was time for them to go, Sean didn't want um, the cats to go. He's like, Can we have another well, one? No, can, the cat's gotta go. I'm like, It's their cat. We can't just keep one. He's like, Well, now he wants another one. He wants a baby. Which I've been saying. For and a they while. are like the best cat moms. Like, Oh my God, yes. They spoil their cats. The cats love them. They're really smart. The cats, the kids are really smart. That was too cute. Another time I ate, I mean, I cooked. I did a lot of cooking. You did a lot of cooking. I cooked um, oxtails while they were here. Yes. I made um, lemon, honey lemon, uh, garlic chicken. Mm -hmm. I made collard greens. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I made a fish fry. We made macaroni salad. Macaroni salad. Plus all the food my family made. Yeah. Just for them. Just for them. That was a lot of good food too. Oh my goodness. All right. So then we went. First of all, they was in my hood. No, I don't have no footage of that because I don't want y'all knowing exactly where I live. But Mo well, got recognized while we was here outside of here. Me walked the streets with us for damn there every day. Literally. We walked downtown Brooklyn. Um the kids went to the store. Mm-hmm. They literally did. Check out my video with the kids. They didn't really like that experience. They did not. You guys walked to the store with Melissa. Mm -hmm. Now, how was that? I heard you was a little nervous. So tell them why you were nervous. Too many right. people. There were so many people. And, and yeah, they all just, look like, they all look so weird. <laughs> <laughs> they make people staring at us. They're just, they're just mugging us. They're mugging us. They're mugging you. <laughs> <laughs> kind of scared them? You know, it's funny. When I went to the store a few times after that, Logan would ask to go with me, but Ava never did. She <laughs> was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> She's like, and they're, mm -hmm. um reaction of what they felt was going on was oh my god funny. that was so funny kids are so funny and logan like they was mugging me, me us, mugging us. Like, <laughs> like, they just look like that like that was so funny mm. we played a lot of games together mm -hmm. so many Hello, 90s um 90s is vcr a big brand of vcr back in the day sony other ones starts with a different letter starts oh mm. you can't say start with p no, I don't think oh, oh, a horse, a horse. A horse. A horse. Right here. Brand, brand. Yeah, who, who oh, does who does, yeah. She got it. 
I think these people wear a mouse head on their head when they perform their white. I think that's I have no happens. idea who these people are. I don't know, I don't know if that's <laughs> the next one. You'll never get it. Oh, oh every place y'all want to ever go to shop. get anything. <laughs> Main <laughs> store. Walmart. Yes. <laughs> what? I have absolutely Noah. no fucking idea. Uh, uh, it's a cable company. Milwaukee. A big Our one. cable. Big one. Our cable in Milwaukee. I can't think of it. I can't uh, think of it. Oh, I saw the. And it opened up. up my eyes. I saw the sun. Ace of Base. Tom Warner. I want to tell it like a lion's mane. So does Rachel. Actually, I do have lots. It looks like dreads. Right. No, okay. Buffy and Big. Shut right. the fuck up and take a drink. Take a drink. Call me Nalovich. Nalovich. Uh, Nalovich. 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 She's about to place a card down. Everybody, I want everybody to pay attention. My mafia, I want you to pay attention because this is what the fuck she said about y'all body. I'm back. How you know she was going to give you drugs? I'm going to What? I said. No, no. We didn't hear you. You did that for me, Miss Ella. While we was playing games and getting drunk together, they confessed to me that while they was in the hotel, before they got here, they ate a baked egg and cheese and chopped cheese. They did. Without me. They did. Didn't let the New Yorker tell you where to go. You tried okay, so. so guess what they got? Crap. And I've said that's what they deserve. So this next clip is one me very drunk explaining that. So cut me some slack. It was I'm drinking with my friends. So I sound obliterated, but I'm explaining it. And two, Mimi hiding her face. <laughs> no, that was the funniest clip ever. She's hiding her face because she don't want nobody to see. Mm -hmm. She has the proof. I forgot to ask her for that. I should have texted her like, yo, send me that proof of the nasty baked egg and cheese that they got from downtown Brooklyn. If you are a New Yorker, I didn't say that there's no place downtown that you can't get a good baked egg and cheese, but you know who that audience is for. Exactly. You know who they're pushing for with that audience with a baked egg and cheese. You ain't go to Oct to get no baked egg and cheese. You even go to Poppy. To get a bag of egg and cheese. So you get what you got. Pretty much. And they hated it. So, why the did they go downtown and get a big egg and cheese? And a chopped cheese. It, yeah, it's weird, bro. It's giving why. What is that? We were hungry and tired and it was across from our hotel. Lots. The lot they tell. These mother it's right. got a bacon and cheese from downtown for the bitches I know <laughs> from downtown Brooklyn if you from Brooklyn it was terrible tell me mm -hmm. would you ever get a bacon egg and cheese or a chopped cheese from downtown Brooklyn with the white tea People, mm -mm. that—that's what you like. Clear. That's your friend. You, you, I like mommy. You like salt and pepper. Out. You like salt and pepper, friend. Is, is that
you guys, if you want to see uh, Momo's reaction to cuts and slices, y'all check out her channel. And you go over to her and you watch the video. They Uber Eats. I forgot they Uber Eats. Okay, so I'm here with Logan. Your boy Logan. And who's here? Who's that? So cute. And... <laughs> and... All right, so we all wait in for the pizza. And that's it. I'll be back. Oh my God, that was so good. Check out my video. That was so good. That should be out soon. And it's the best pizza in the world. And not yeah. only cuts and slices, just New York, period. Literally. They loved the best pizza. They loved all the pizza from down. here. Literally. They did. Now, I ain't messing with Chicago deep dish. I am repping y'all right now. Don't ask me why. Shout out to Boohoo Man. I just thought it was cute. But I ain't messing with no deep dish. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. I know my business. But if you want a slice of pizza, come to New York. And that's 100%. It was so good. Ava loved hers. She loved it. She loved it. We did uh, New York things. I made sure to get them uh, nasty. I see shish kebab because everybody in New York has had one until we that's realized not to eat from them. Yes, pretty much. All right, y'all. So, you know, we had to stop here. Mimi, you like New York? She was so happy. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Now we got our sister Bob. Alright, so y'all like what you did you like the shish kebab? Yeah, fire. <laughs> Good. Show them yours, babe. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Ain't been eating all. Mm -hmm. Ava stay Actually, taking like people it. food. <laughs> what you said, Logan? Yeah, we in New York. Well, I live here, but they in New York. <laughs> <laughs> but they'll be all right. Um, and they were fancy with it. They put in a cute little pita. They wrapped right. it up with some sauce on it. I'm like, back in the day, they handed you a stick with meat on it and was like, here you go. And a piece of Italian bread on the top. Yes. A piece. Oh, but, my God, I ruined Italian bread. Yes. But since I was hit about 30, when I get a shish kebab, that's, that's how, how it is. Mm -hmm. I haven't gotten one in so ago. long. So they enjoyed that. We went through the city. Yes, they got to see Times Square. There's clips of that right here. Yeah. They see all the people. Oh, look at the park. Oh, yes. And you now, you, now you get why it's hard to leave. You see all these lights, you see all these people walking, right. you see all that now. And now you see why I can't leave? <laughs> it's hard to leave. We can always come visit. Hey, 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 hey. Even Target is lit. Spider-Man gonna be out there. Look Some some the um, SpongeBob. Look at the monkey. Um, Spider-Man should be out here. So the <laughs> naked cowboy. <laughs> oh my God. Mario. <laughs> Show that you cry. If that's a fact, then I'll be more than you. 
said is what, Momo? Craziness. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is crazy. <laughs> I don't even gotta explain it. All these people, there's nothing going on. <laughs> there's not a concert. There's not. They're, they're literally just there. outside. Yep. Outside. Oh my God. Be careful. Don't need nobody. Oh, she that. just wanna she walk did. so bad, y'all. There's the Lion King, y'all. Yeah, that where you see the Lion King, that's where you would go. about that i we, like we live here and seeing their like excitement and they're like like they're i said that literally when we was in the, in the, in the oh you in the did thing. that it made me like fall back in love with the city i said like seeing their happiness yeah. made me happy oh no yeah that i know normal see it every day but no that i know you did but i'm saying it made me like fall back in love with the city too mm -hmm. like you know like want to be outside more and be like we live here like i should be outside enjoying this mm -hmm. a little more you know what i mean like, me personally i'm like that's normal, you know? Yeah. You, you have to go meet people in the city. That's true. People go to work in the city. Yeah. When I had to meet my cousin, I had to go down. Yeah. It's more of an inconvenience, to be honest, for us. But Yeah, that's true. I love seeing their reaction. Yeah. And it was a great time. Like, honestly, it was everything. Like, it's always going to be music down there. Yeah. But the music started at the perfect time. The it minute it turned into it. It did. And the guy giving them a pound that was doing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And just all these different things. Even when I told her, like, people cross the middle of the street, you know we jaywalkers. Yeah. And so be careful. Her, yeah. And I saw her. They, they, they would like to get a little a little soup. And the minute Memo Mo was going, she was like, oh, she had to hold up. And mm -hmm. the girl was like, because I, I had my lawyer on standby. Yes. Yes. It was pretty <laughs> funny. They laughed. Mm -hmm. Like. Maybe we got out, we all got out, took pictures, yeah. looked around. Because there's so many people and so much going on. There's so much going on. There's so much going on. And that's so what they did that. say that a lot. They were very like, there's so many people. So and you guys are all on top of each other. Like it's a lot going on at once. And it's like, you're so used to it that you don't realize it, but it is a lot going, is on, a lot going on at once. On. Yeah. Did you realize it when you go someplace like them and it's quiet? Oh yeah, you said that. Yeah, like yeah. That freaks like me when out you go to time. Texas, it's so quiet. Oh, you true. take a walk and nobody's outside, just one neighbor, and you're sitting there drinking a beer, like, and you just know like that's the guy who's gonna take you and gonna take you forever. <laughs> that's how I feel over there. Like, hey yo, if this <laughs> guy for like, white vans or black vans, like hmm. exactly. We just had fun the entire. There was not a day that went by that we wasn't like it was just amazing. Like, okay, now we're gonna do it again. Yeah. Like. Yep. Because we all know normally in real life, that's not what you do. Yeah, but you're having a good time. Like, they were on vacation and we were on vacation. Exactly. Literally. Melissa like, took off the whole week. Yeah, like, we were like, okay, so it's a staycation. Right. Pretty much. And we had a great time. We listened to music. We went live a couple of times. I swear to God, bro. Yeah, mama made that I, shit I up. I swear. <laughs> Let me look for it. Bro, I swear to I'm God. Like I promise I am not lying, bro. <laughs> Bro, Boosie, look at that. Bro, y'all are so fucking crazy. That shit was funny. I gotta give you that one. You're funny. But we really kept it into us chilling. You did. Yeah, we did. did. And sometimes that happens like. You're enjoying like the company so much that you're not thinking about the other stuff. We pick up the camera. We did, but enough. Yeah. You know, like we really was chilling together. We really was making meals together. Yeah. Mimi made her cabbage for, oh, she did. for Sean. She made sandwiches and hoagies and stuff for us. Right. And we had a pizza party. At one point she ordered my yes. pizza right before they left. Oh my God, yes. Uh, we played Uno, we played music. Yes. Um, yes. And here you can really play music. I got a great ass stereo. She does. They interacted with the neighbor. And I had a lot of questions about that. And I will tell you this. From the first day that they spent the night, they woke up here. Yes. So they got to hear all the bullshit that I hear every mm -hmm. day. And the funny part about them interacting with the neighbor was I came out after their first night here. So that means they dealt with her in the morning. Mm -hmm. Mind you, we went to sleep pissy drunk. So I mean, mm -hmm. I'm in the back. You can hear it. It's not that like you can't, but it's not as 
crazies in the front. Mm -hmm. Um, I came out and this is what Mo looked like. Bitch! <laughs> 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 she was like, you do with this every day? I was like, yeah. So there's two interactions with the neighbor. So of course she's stomping, slamming. Um, and I mean hard, y'all. Like, you know, nobody you would be bothered with somebody just like, pfft. like, let's just say your door closes. Our doors close pretty hard anyway, if you don't it's the, touch it. The it's mouth. like the yeah. sheer, like, like grabbing it and literally swinging I it. I mean, as shaking your, to your, your door goes out of his frame a little bit. Oh, oh, scary. Oh, 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 shiver my timbers. Like just doing anything to antagonize. Mm -hmm. Um, if you're watching this, you can't antagonize me because I could have been with but I like where I live and until I leave that's not gonna happen you're so. a nuisance to your own peace you're driving yourself crazy at this point Literally. I could care less what you do it's you're messing up with your own peace just please understand that you wake up she was like it's giving obsessed Mom was absolutely. Like, she has to be obsessed like absolutely who wakes up angry at people absolutely. every day no literally every single day and especially angry at the same thing that you do every day every single day you blast your shit front and back from seven something in the morning until you feel like it all day long so you get mad at somebody once or twice a week they play their music you get mad in general just in general i have not been here and i've watched on the ring we're not home just we're miserable. we're on vacation we're in texas just and miserable. we're watching you spaz up just down. miserable she was like in the spring and the, i said i know it's seven o'clock in the morning no one smoking anywhere i can guarantee that literally and it's just just to just to try to antagonize you but that's what the devil do don't he yeah he try to bother you he try to make you uh converse with him he tries to make you get upset mm -hmm. you just leave try to fuel that people the way they are so but two people couldn't take it one ava a child never heard us talking about it mm -hmm. just constantly heard what she heard mm -hmm. so one day we was leaving out <laughs> and we get in front of the door and the poor baby she's just stomping like Wait, no, girl, no. So we get down the steps. It didn't stop. That's how you know she didn't know where it was. Now she's stopping from the good neighbor's house. I'm like, wait, be quiet. She said, for whoever want to catch this, it's for you. <laughs> <laughs> right, because it was getting on their nerves too. Right. Because it's shocking them that they're out here, they're playing, they get a jump. Because yes. it's just ridiculous, but it's that's excessive. what we live with. It's excessive. That's who she is, and there's no changing. And no one in this world can tell me that that's normal. You cannot, no. if you had an issue with somebody, Especially if you never said it. Especially if they had a mediation with you and invited you to say it. Yep. Especially if they tell you, like, you can tell me if you need anything from going me forward. as a neighbor mm -hmm. going forward. And you never, ever took that to do. Because it's nothing. The, the point is, you just hate us. It's just who you know are. Why. Yeah, it's just, who, it's just a fundamental thing. Right. And that's a you problem. And you don't even have a problem only with us. Yeah. You have a problem with one other person, too, because yeah. they called you out on your bullshit. And threaten you. But the biggest problem is with us because you have homophobia. Pretty much. But no one in here wants you. I told you this once and I'll tell you it again. You look like a foot. Boom. Nobody's thinking about you. A man, at all. A manly foot. I live my life. You live your life. No. I had company. I was happy. I said this to her when I talked about Christmas. I was like, you should be opening gifts with your family. Yes. Not worried about bothering and somebody else. Like, you... You're not gonna get me to do what you want me to do because I would have been did it. Trust me. Exactly. But th there's no fear. You wouldn't have no fear in your heart with this woman because she ain't buck like that. You, I see her outside. She ain't about that at all. She just wants to bother, and she thinks it's funny, like to me. Yeah. But you drive yourself crazy. Literally. You have your kids in that noise all day. You have yourself in that noise, noise all day. In the front, in the back, you get no peace. I don't know how you can have peace because I don't live with zone. you, so you ain't bothering me that much. You're but... in the place. You're in there with that noise. I know you have a headache every day. I know you have a migraine. I know your you head can't is not, You can't. Not There's be. no way that physically you can be. Or you have schizophrenia. Space. Something, God. That you hearing things and you trying to drown it out because that's oh. the only way you, you know can be what? comfortable. I, then you then you know what that would actually make actual sense because i don't know how anybody even with varying stages of other things that that would not literally drive you crazy, drive you crazy. just constant noise you have no yourself. peace there's no peace and how we know if you're new here and you'd be like well how you know she's just don't play her music all the time because when she opened her door the the the, the speaker is right next to, to the door so, towards okay. us we know because who does that we know because this is the um this is her passive aggressive way of doing it because before it was her curl calling us homophobic slurs right. and cursing us through the doors and the when door. she was told when she was told that she could be removed for that because discrimination is not allowed right. then she changed her tactics and started banging pots and right. when i called and i acted like i wanted a welfare check because i thought that maybe she was
was stuck in her bathroom, though I knew exactly what she was doing. Right. And she was they were made aware of what she was doing. She changed it to then spraying a lot. Right. And then in spraying our door, she was asked to stop doing that because she was caught on our camera. Right. And then she started putting the music. Right. So it's like the tactics changed to change. And she to went change, back to, to spraying? Yes. And that's okay because I'm going to get that But out. that's okay because, you know, you mess up. And that's all I'm going to say. I can't tell you how you messed up, but you did mess You're up. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. And it's and like, I, and why? And I you during the mediation, like, we can see. I showed, matter of fact, I showed proof to uh, an official in front of you. And you must have forgotten. And I love that right. you've forgotten. I thank you so much for that. We can see you. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're an idiot. Thank you so much. You're not invisible. So, I, I, I listen, they had to go through that. Now, the next one was one morning. No, it was afternoon. Okay. We were sitting here minding our business. Mm -hmm. Everybody minding their business. We are sitting here actually talking. Um, I think we were figuring out what we were going to do with the day. Okay. And start bringing up the steps again and spraying, coming up the steps, and then going inside and deciding about four minutes later just to open the door just to spray. For no, what is that for? Who, like, it's such so <clears throat> bullshit. And it is the nastiest spray you've ever smelled. It is like the worst, most, like, right. thickest aerosol that you could get, like, the on Christmas, stuff. I was gonna just put on a bow and put just a bunch of Febreze, Febreze like real Febreze. See, this, if you're watching, ma'am, this is something you can use that don't like that that Dollar Tree powder shit that you use or the manly one that you use that smells like a dude walk up in here. That, it, just, it, it, it smells flammable. It smells like I literally like it would go up in flames. It smells dangerous. Honestly, out of everything I stink in this hallway, it's what you do or what you cook. This bitch is not all lit, <laughs> and I'm mad. If you think about it, if you're constantly spraying, 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 and there's no windows in some place, you're making it disgusting. Yes. And more often than not, it's the fact that the hallway needs to be clean. So I call maintenance. Why don't you? Right. And, 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 and wash your mat. And, uh, not matter wash fact, your fucking bathroom mat that you have right. in your front door. That was what I was going to say. It is a bathroom Literally. mat. There is no rubber underneath it. It is meant right. for a bathroom, bathroom. because it's you're supposed to wash it. Door. And you're supposed to wash it. it. So you have it accumulating with with um, with leaked water outside, feet, and all this other stuff. It reeks. It's not supposed to be used for that. At all. Usually uh, mats that go outside mm. your door, they're hard for a reason. They they, they have rubber yes, for a reason. Yes, or straw, something. Yes, it's, it's just... You have one bathroom mat on top of another bathroom mat. <sighs> it's not helping. It's like you're putting a towel outside. And Literally, spraying. the mold is just it's sitting disgusting. there. So, um, yeah. Anyway. So, anyway, while anyway, that was happening, back to the trip. We heard, so, um, and she slammed the door. She mm -hmm. sprayed it and slammed the door. So, me opened the door and sprayed it right back, slammed the door like, bitch. So, now, the lady comes back like three minutes later. Yes, she did. Oh, no, I believe it because, yeah. We, and then she opened Early on, we were petty into them. And it was back and forth for a little bit and we had to stop. And she was, but I used Lysol. And petty. then she slammed the door. And then we open opened it. Open it, but that's fucking right. <laughs> that's right. I the door. That's like, right. What the fuck? We could it's just ridiculous. Ahead. She was like, it's ridiculous. Even on their way out, mind you, the whole the whole complex was quiet because they left like in the middle of the night to start driving. Yeah. Baby <laughs> comes out. Like, All right, I'll see you later, bitch. Like, <laughs> bye. <laughs> we do it all the time. So that's we have something to say. Like, or like, she'll do that and I'll just scream like, grow up. Literally. Like, it's just... No, or I'll be like, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Do what you want. You want to make noise. Nobody you want to slam shit. You want to be in your house saying, oh! You know what? Better to get a night order. Oh. Oh. Hey, like a weirdo. Whatever you... And I, am I exaggerating? No. Whatever you want to do that you think is bothering me, you're wasting your time. And energy. And out of all that gospel that you listen to, one thing you should get is that you don't do unto others whatever you feel they did unto you. I don't do nothing to you. I don't even talk to you. We, there, <laughs> there's no engaging. Nothing. I, it's been a very long time since I knocked on the door to try to engage as a, neighbor, as, as a neighbor, which I did it last. And I made sure that ring was on to show that I tried to mediate on my own behalf and ask you nicely to stop doing what you were doing. Actually, it was, can you stop slamming the door? The because door because it's, it's opening our door and right. the lock is getting But they tonight. fixed it. Fine, but my point is, there's been a long time since anyone engaged with you the way that we were instructed to do. Right. And you were not you were not receiving you didn't that. care they did have to engage in that and they did see exactly what i was talking mm -hmm. about i'm sure they're going to how they felt about it um and uh, i think you and mimi got to see her she was okay. on the street you got to point her out yeah she was I sure did. and she also got to see how scary she is yes <laughs> it's just it's it's so ridiculous y'all and um if you think that's gonna make me move it's not you're gonna have to do a lot more mm -hmm. 
And um, or you can always leave yourself. Yes, and you can always stop and just be a normal person and focus on you that's and your children. Too, but I know that's too much to ask for, so you could just leave. That would just be normal because that's what I do. And it's so funny when you hear music coming from here. This is the last thing I gotta say. We're having a good time, actually Literally. enjoying ourselves. It's not Literally. for your benefit. So it's just really weird to me the things you do, and just know no one's thinking about you. We're mentioning it because we we have eyes and ears and we can see and hear you. But other than that, you don't affect this spirit, this soul at all you're just weird so my trip with them was great we had a good time i didn't give a damn what day of the week it was what time it was whatever we wanted to do i did just yeah. like everybody else does in this damn building and in this damn neighborhood and i had a great time uh with them being from out of state and us yeah. doing things and going by places and seeing places yeah. i grew up and just so many things like they even saw where your mom's old store was because oh, we had yeah. to go over you went there. Through the, yeah. So it was just a lot of things they got to see that I may have spoken about. Yeah. And what's most importantly, they were in my hometown, in my city, and they spent every moment of them being here with me. They did. They literally did. And I, I really appreciated that. I really, really, really did. did. And you got to be a part of like my everyday. You know what I yeah. mean? And, and, and even me, me and Mo recorded the minute we press record, the music started up in, in the street. Like, she was like, so "Oh my god, it was just quiet." I'm like, "Exactly." This so is what you'll be talking about, right? Yeah. She got to be in front of the bricks. It was just important um, for yeah. us to spend time together, and like for real, like spend time together, even if we were yeah. in the crib, even if we were cooking. Yes, it was never dull without a laugh. Yeah. It really wasn't. So I may have pictures. I may have other clips I'm putting after this. I miss Carrie. I like a, I like um some 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 um I like some dessert. Ooh, the ice cream yeah. machine's broken. The ice cream machine's broken. <laughs> oh, I would like to come and see. You, you look good. How, how many inches you got in your hand right now? A hundred. A hundred. <laughs> Snap. Okay, girl. On Twirl around so they can see the back of it too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay so it's time to go to bed everybody but oh it's, it's probably really early in the morning for everybody else right it's five, anyway it's 5.46 when you babysitting people kittens you got all the block jumping mm, she's scared of the train y'all <laughs> So Mimi holding on to this. That ain't gonna do shit if it's on the bridge. <laughs> Nothing. You're done. You're done. Motherfucker. Woo! New York! Look at the view, bitch! Sorry. <laughs> I just wanna say that I love you guys and I really truly appreciate you. Um damn, we've been friends almost five years uh, next March. And um, your first trip was a great trip. It was nice and long. It was long. And I really enjoyed it. And I, we missed you. It was so quiet when I came back upstairs. Remember when I, we were sitting there? Yeah. Oh, it was, was so like, quiet. It's so quiet. And it was just so quiet, oddly quiet. Even the cats was like. You couldn't hear the bells from the cats. <laughs> right. You couldn't hear the kids playing in the back. Like, it was nothing. Like, Nobody came in screaming, <laughs> a.k.a. Mimi. Nothing. Like, what the hell is going on today? What we eating? Nobody was laughing. Nobody was bothering. I mean, it was just, we had real family moments. I mean, yeah. it, it was really, it was a good time. Yes. And so I can't wait for you guys to come back out. I'll be back out there very soon. Mm -hmm. And I just can't wait for you guys to come back out and we do other things as well. Yeah. And this time we probably gonna do a little investigation and get like a big Airbnb where we all can stay yes. together. But yes. they might as well have because there were times they didn't leave this house till like five in the morning. Literally. Literally the sun was coming up. It was serious, like for real. So we had a good time. So hopefully they can come when it's cold because then they can see the tree. Right. My mom and wants to come Christmas when it's cold. Decorations, and, yeah, maybe get like hot that. cocoa, go take yeah. them by Rockefeller Center. Yeah. Things like that. Yeah. All right, I love, love, love y'all. And until we eat great, great beef stew. Like that's Sweet. one of my best. Uh, until we have Melissa back on the channel, hey, yeah. and probably uh, I haven't been here since I was violated the last time. <laughs> well, she'll be violated again, so let's see what I have up my sleeve. Team Melissa at gmail.com. And y'all already much. know Team Ray Love at gmail.com, or you can hit me on my IG with any kind of prank ideas. <laughs> and at least I'm gonna do it and outperform, outperform her. So let's see what she could do. Have, have um, Team Melissa. Last time I seen y'all at the table, y'all was crying. Day after day, seems like I push again. Daddy, daddy, watch me twirl. Daddy!
Uh, Team Ray, we put your head up. That's all I got to say. <laughs> okay, Martin. <laughs> Keep your head up. What you said for you, for me. Anyway, Annoying. until we do all of this again, I will see you guys soon. Later. Later. Good video and good food. Very good. Just, I finished a long time ago. Did you not see me? You were eating. I think I did. Finish no, a long I mean time ago way too. before you. It was good. Way. Right? It was still as followed. It was delicious. Was good. Oh my god. Ah, right, y'all. We going for real. Peace. Uh, so many things I've got to tell you. But I'm afraid I don't know how Cause there's a possibility that you look at me differently, love Ever since the first moment I spoke your name From then on I knew that by you being in my life Things were destined to change Cause love